Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review or tool reviews. I haven't decided if I'm going to make this one video or two. We'll see how this goes as far as time-wise recording this. But both of these tools are from the same company, and that's Van Plier. Uh, now, many of you over the course of me having this channel, whether it was comments on my twin grips, engineer pliers videos, or even just some other videos, you've mentioned to me I might want to check into the Van Plier pliers. Well, I don't own any. I have put some in my Amazon wish list, but the company actually reached out to me and asked me if they could send me a couple of their products for me to just check out and give them my thoughts on. So I am going to mark this paid promotion. Uh, they did not asked me to do anything specific or you know say really good things about them or paying me to make this review in any which way uh, but i am going to market pay promotion because i did receive something of value to me i did not buy these tools so i'm just letting you know that uh, now i didn't suggest to them what tools to send me they just sent me these two randomly things so they're not things i had in my wish list uh, but they are things that you all have actually recommended to me. So we're going to go ahead and check out the pair of pliers that they sent me and then also the scissors. But let's go ahead and get into these two tools. So the first tool that we're going to look at is the Van Plier Boss. It is a 7-inch screw extractor plier. It also has a cutter feature on it and a few other things like that. Uh, the part number on it, if I can get in that little light there, VT001-7, or I guess I could show it to you here uh, really big on the packaging. Um... Uh, Pretty nice set of pliers here. Uh, the one difference between it and maybe some of my others are is that it is spring-loaded. Uh, some people like that, some people don't. I'm typically not a fan of spring-loaded pliers, but it's more so because I don't like having those in my tool bag like that. It just is a pain to carry, a uh, pain to store. Now, you, you put it down in a pocket, typically it will stay like that. Uh, but it might be nice on a pair of screw extractors to have that spring loaded because you're wanting to keep tension on that rounded off fastener so it's probably a little bit easier to just be able to loosen up your grip a little bit when you turn and then tighten back down but this one does come with a little sheath uh, that you slide the pliers into so that's actually nice on this because it's a spring loaded tool that you know you store it like that inside of a pouch that's bigger it's going to stay open and stuff like that versus you can put that in there now and that's going to keep it closed while you're storing it in your tool bag or whatever it might be. So again, these are going to run you about 36 bucks, I think, on Amazon the last that I looked at them. It does say that it will cut as far as this cutter goes from four or four millimeter is what the packaging says on the back side there. Uh, but that ends up being, or right here on the front, there's the cutting capacity for stainless steel, steel wire, and copper wire. So Four millimeter copper wire is right around that 12 gauge wire, which is what I've got here. If I put that in the cutter, it doesn't have any problem cutting that. And I feel like to me that this is a really good pair if you do electrical work. And let me explain why. One is if it can cut 12 and 14 gauge wire, that's pretty much what you're going to be dealing with most of the time. But also the head size on this for those variations as far as your teeth being crossed is basically a number six and a number eight fit in there almost perfectly. It's like, it's it's almost as if the width of the heads of these fixture screws, a number six and a number eight, that's basically what will fit inside of here just right. And, and so if you're an electrician, you know, that's pretty much the two screws that you're gonna deal with a lot whenever you're using maybe a, this size of, of pliers. So that's gonna be nice. And then I have this little example here of, Here's a, you know, receptacle screw that I just took and took my Phillips screwdriver and just really wore it out. Now, granted, I could take a slotted uh, screwdriver and put that in there right now, but I can't get that in and out right now because I basically have wallered out the Phillips part of it. Well, if I take my twin grips, you know, that hole is a little bit bigger than some of them. And just the way that the head is, I can't really get in there very well because it's a rounded off i can eventually grab a hold of it but it's going to take me quite a bit of time to get that out at that point and then my engineers you know i got these because they're small this screw is just a little bit too big for those engineers even though i can get a grip onto it and i could eventually get it out with those you know if i if i wanted to use those but whenever you get this pair right here it's like exactly in the way that that's flat you can push it right in there against that screw head, clamp down, and I have no problem grabbing a hold of that screw just like that is, and then being able to twist that out. Now, if I wasn't going around a camera, and if this was solid in a box, I could sit there and twist this around like a screwdriver, or if this was solid in a wall, 
but it's like like i said these pliers right here if you're an electrician this is to me the size that you want to get if you're going to deal with you know ceiling box uh, light fixture boxes things like that those screws are always cheap they always strip out and sometimes they don't have that slotted option for you to be able to take a slotted screwdriver and kind of get that out if, if the phillips is stripped out so again that's why i think that these are good they come with the sheath they're strong enough to cut 12 gauge wire uh seven inches long not going to take up a lot of room in your bag it does also have uh the teeth going this way for like almost like a pair of combination pliers as well uh, so you can get onto a big fastener that way and your teeth would be turned in the direction to be able to you know grab a hold of that too so in the event that you need to go a little bit bigger than a fixture screw if you can get at it sideways uh, these are going to work for that as well so yeah that's the vt001-7 uh, again they work on low profile head strip screws non-standard screws so if you've got something where you don't have a bit but you need to get it out uh, you could use these pliers rusted screws all those things like that again it's just a it's a screw removal pair of pliers it's kind of a good size i'm glad they sent me this one because my twin grips go up to a pretty decent size fastener because you know you can open those up and go bigger if you really need to and then my little engineer ones are for small stuff so this kind of worked out good for me that they sent me these because that's right there in that in-between category but again fixture screws if you guys use them you might want to get you a pair of these but so that's that pair let's look at the scissors that they sent me so the scissors that they sent me are the vt011 and again both these products are made in japan i don't think i mentioned that on the other but this is their super combo scissors four and one multi-purpose blade combination so the blade has four different features i'll show you all four here they are here number one is a flat blade two micro serrations three is a wire cutter and then four is a box cutter but that's not really a box cutter in like i think of a box cutter and here's basically the ways that you might would use those because I'm not going to cover everything probably. So if you want to pause and read those various ways to hold your handles there and then also the cutting capacities for your wire cutter and also your micro serration uh, blade there. So you can just pause those, check those out. Again, let me go ahead and go over the features of all of those four things anyways. But also size wise, if you compare it to my Knipix blade, Quite a bit longer blade it's about a three inch blade the scissors overall are around six and a quarter but that first feature is just a flat blade pair of scissors just your standard scissors you can see it once you get back into here you get those micro serrations but out here on the very front it's just a flat flat blade just like a normal pair of scissors uh, i just got this in the mail from my mp on uh, my mpx2 uh, but you can just sit here and just cut through anything that you'd normally use a pair of scissors for basically it's just your standard flat blade scissors uh, now you get back into here you get into that micro serrations or the serrated scissor that's going to work on several different things so if you're cutting something where normally like a cd here if i try to cut that with that flat blade sometimes stuff will start flopping out or push its way out a credit card or something like that you get back into there it will go ahead and cut right through that because it's kind of pulling it as you're cutting it so it works on the cd credit card something like that what it really works good on is rope even though i can cut rope out here with the flat part it will cut it but you see how that just spread and blew up everywhere versus if i come back here and cut it back towards the back in that serration it cuts it off clean just one little piece uh, so it basically kind of holds everything together while you cut it it kind of in, in that way so if you've ever used a pair of scissors like that that's what that does uh, then you also get the wire cutter that's actually back here in the back you can see that while i've got that open you put your wire through there and then close that it says that it cuts 1.6 millimeters the cutting capacity which that comes out to about 16 gauge uh, which i have some uh, 16 gauge fire control wire here so if i take and put that back here towards the back slide that through uh, doesn't have any problem cutting through that which you can also probably just cut it up here with the scissors as well but it might not be as clean a cut because you're getting into that serrated blade it just depends on what you want to do but it doesn't have any problem cutting that back there at that 16 gauge which is what they say is the capacity i also did some eight uh, or some uh, 14 gauge earlier it will go through that but it is pretty tough so they actually do what they tell you 
is the max capacity is probably really the max capacity. A lot of times tools bottom in that a little bit so that if you do cut something bigger, you know, they, they want it to be able to cut whatever it is they tell you easily. And it does do that with the 14 uh, or the 16, but if you move up to 14, it does get a little tight. So that's the wire cutting feature. Seems like it works pretty good. And then the last feature, that fourth feature, it says is a box cutter. And a box cutter to me is always just a razor blade knife. But what it has out here on this tip right here, it's real thin right there. It's not overly sharp. You're not going to cut your finger on it, I don't think. And essentially, it's just made to, you can take it and put it inside of a package like this. If you get something from Amazon and basically open up your box using that without having to get out a sharp blade. So you wouldn't damage your package, whatever is inside that box with this probably whereas if you take a razor blade knife and you go too deep and you cut into something you might damage it so that's the van plier super combo scissors 32 bucks really nice pair of pliers several of you actually recommended i believe it was these i don't know if they've got other scissors besides these but they are pretty nice i do like them uh, i like all the features that are on them so that's the scissors also the boss pliers again if you're an electrician you might want to look into these but you don't have to be an electrician i mean it's a good size pair i think that's probably the common size where you're going to have problems with screws that strip out easy is probably this size screw so this might be the go-to for screw extraction on most screws that you're going to have a problem with and then that's their super combo pliers four and one both seem to be great tools i appreciate everybody recommend them to me and i really want to thank van plier for sending these out to me i really do appreciate that but hope this is useful to let you know about these tools what they do hopefully to help you make the decision if maybe one of these two is right for you maybe both of them are or maybe neither one, but hope it's helpful in some way. You guys stay safe, have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the next video.